almost had to sue somebody the other day because they wouldn't give me back my money. Welcome to my housing crisis era here in South Korea. If you have not been keeping up, just go watch the previous videos. My last video, I put down a holding deposit for an apartment and it's not the full housing deposit that you pay when you officially move into the unit. This is the holding deposit to make sure they don't rent out the apartment to anyone else. Not even 24 hours, not even 12 hours, but literally just five hours after I deposited that money, I messaged my realtor and was like, hey, so can we cancel that please? I don't wanna move into this apartment, but they wouldn't give me back my deposit. To me, I was like, if I had messaged them a week later or even a couple days later, that's my loss, right? I would have to take that L because they could have found someone to move into that unit instead of me during that time. But I had messaged them literally the same day within five hours. I'd also like to point out at this point, I had not signed any paperwork. So no contracts, nothing had my signature on it. I then luckily have a friend whose fiance, whose mother-in-law is a realtor here in Seoul. So I consulted them on what to do while I was crying. In this case, they told me definitely don't move into the apartment. You'd message them just a couple hours later. So they really should just kind of return it. What you can do is you will have to try to contact the actual owner of the building. Because in this case, it was kind of weird. It wasn't the owner who had said no to me, it was the realtor and then the building supervisor. So you wanna contact the owner directly and then explain to them the situation, see if you can get your money back. If they don't give it back, then you can threaten to basically report them to the government office and sue them should things escalate to that amount. Usually the threat would work enough because they don't want like the government involved in anything. Never feel pressure to send a holding deposit unless you are sure, especially when you are mentally maybe not in your best condition from all the house hunting that you've done. After a couple days of a lot of stress and anxiety on my part, I was lucky I was finally able to get my deposit back and we are moving forward. <laughs>